guys, it's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and now a YouTube channel. So thank you so much for joining me in this space if this is your first time. Today I'm going to do something a bit different and that is to do a video over two parts. The first one is going to be tonight I'm going to show you my nighttime routine of like how I pamper, the devices that I use at the moment, the skincare routine, the fake tan routine that I've got. I've got a great glow right now and also my hair care hair mask routine to get my hair silky and shiny just like this. So let's get started. I'm going to go jump in the shower and I'll show you exactly what I do afterwards. So now I have just had my bath for an hour, love a good soak, scrubbed all my tan off with a muslin cloth that I get with the Liz Earl cleansers to make sure it's all gone and then I'm going to moisturise my skin before I put the tan on but before I do that I'm going to do um, a bit of a skincare routine as like a bit of a treatment because I've got some hormonal breakout bits from being on my period this weekend and then I'm going to prep my skin for tonight and then I'm going to do my hair mask treatment as well and this is basically a get ready with me night routine so it's about half past six now I've not had my tea yet I'm going to do all this tidy my dressing room but beneath me it literally looks like a shop has been robbed like there's literally like washing that you're putting away so the plan is do my facial put my tan no do my facial do my hair mask put my tan on clean eat tea so let's start so first thing I'm going to use is this device called a newer device. It's currently sold out but it will be back in stock soon, they have reassured me. And it's a radio frequency device which produces collagen, stimulates cell turnover, it just, I can't tell you the difference it has made to my acne scarring, like I'm properly sold on this device. And it comes with like a lift activating gel. So what you do is you put this gel onto the device like so. And then, all I've done to my skin is cleanse it with the Elemis Cleansing Oil Balm, so it's just prepped. And then I've got it on number two, with activator gel on, you press this and it starts to flash like so. And then I just work it in this circular motion over bits that I need help with my acne scarring and just wanting to like give that youthful plum. I'm noticing that I'm getting like two lines down here when I'm dehydrated and this is definitely helping to give me glowy skin, reducing those lines that are staying and just, my skin just looks, I can't tell you, it just looks so good after I've used this for a few days. So, because I've got back into a routine of using it, I'm doing it five days in a row and then I think you do it every three days after that. Um, but I keep stopping and starting all the time. One minute I'm like, oh yeah, I'm carrying on with it. And then I don't, I forget. Whereas for the last two weeks, oh look, it's flashing green. So that means I need to change from that area because it's too hot. Um, yeah, I've um, been trying to really keep up with doing it. Some weeks I'm really busy, so I don't have time to just sit and have a nice, you know, 10 minute me time. But at the minute I'm really trying to look at this as well. Burnt myself with the curlers. I can't tell you how saw that is. I have actually done a video before with um, some cooling, cool air curlers from Babyliss and I always say they are so good for beginners because the, the ones I use to do this are the GHD ones and they literally, once you get your skin with them, they burn so bad. So I'm just going around, we're a bit green so I'm going to move on to another area. And if it gets a bit dry, I just put a bit more of the activator gel on. I've also found that I really like to go over my eyes here because I've got the droopy eyes going on at the minute because I'm 31 now. So I'm just making sure I've got those bits and then under my eyes and I'm just going around in a circular motion so the radio frequency is working underneath. I don't know all the ins and outs of like the science behind it. You can actually have these done as a treatment in salons which is um, what they've done to create like um, a home version which has obviously been amazing for lockdown. So once I've done this, it tells you like beeps and tells you when to stop. I see that my face looks a bit red. Sometimes I'll do my neck as well. Here and here. Cause I am finding that I'm aging here. It's really getting to me. Like I look in the mirror and I'm like, when did that happen? But it's all part of getting older. Um, when it turns green sometimes, that's when I can feel that it's a bit warm, but that's about it. So happy with that, done. Then what I will do is unplug it, 
and I'll just clean in there with um, some antibacterial stuff to make sure there's not, because it does look a little bit like all the gel sticks together, so make sure that's clean every time it, that you use it. Well, my face always feels a bit sticky from using that, and then I'm going to just cleanse my skin again, and then I'm going to be doing that on my, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but here is where I've got my scarring, and you can just see it certain lighting, and, and like it puckers a little bit, and I just hate this little bit, but it's definitely got so much better than it has been. So, this little derma roller, it's got little tiny, you see it? It's got little tiny needles on it. And what I do is, this, I roll it on my face with some hyaluronic acid in this motion. And again, it just produces collagen so that my skin overnight while I'm sleeping rejuvenates and then tomorrow I will look fresh. The biggest thing though with both of these treatments and any serums and stuff that you're using on your face, if you are not protecting it with some SPF, it's completely pointless because you're doing the work and then the sun the next day just comes in and damages it. So you really need to keep on top of using the SPF to, to like secure the gains that you've made, you know? And that's one tip that I've found has helped so much. I didn't used to do that. I'd have like, well, I've had a vampire facial. I've had uh, micro needling done. I've had um, micro pen one where it's like a bit more, uh, it's like the derm derma roller, but it's like more intense, which is basically micro needling. And loads of like different acid treatments and stuff. And they're great for like the first month and then as soon as I, I'm in the sun or in just natural light the UVA and UVB just just havoc again and it's just completely pointless and you're back to square one so the best thing I've done is since 2018 is use the HelioCare SPF which protects my skin in the daytime and just make sure that even if it's not sunny but I'm in daylight it just protects me from pollution UVA UVB and helps slow down the signs of aging which obviously I want to do and also I don't want to be like in my 60s getting you know my eyes pulled and looking like Jackie Stallone like I want to try and have some normality to aging like yeah I have Botox now but I have it once a year and have it in just in three places I'm not gonna be having any filler or anything like that I hope because I just want to try and avoid changing my face in any way I just want to prevent wrinkles which is what Botox in these areas does and all the other things that I'm doing right now on my skin. I'm gonna put my other light on actually. Okay so I've tied my hair back now. I've just cleansed my skin. Here's the newer then I've obviously got the um lift activator gel on my face so I want to cleanse that off again and this time I've used the Claudel I think I'm saying it correctly um makeup removing cleansing oil because I find that my skin at the minute is really dehydrated so I actually really like this because it gets rid of my makeup I've got anything left on my skin before I do my derma rolling because we really want to make sure our skin is super super clean before derma rolling um, and just make sure I just use this cleanser all over make sure I've got nothing as you can see I've got nothing at all it's ready to be rolled so the roller is really good for helping with scarring like I've got here I'm obviously going to avoid this ginormous burn which is super sore and I'm going to do it in this kind of motion upwards this way this way and this this way all all around motion to stimulate collagen and also this is a 0.2 needle so it's not going to go too far into your lower layers of skin so if you went and had this professionally done um with like micro needling or derma pen it would go a lot deeper into the skin which will work to create more effect and deeper results with your lower layers of skin whereas this because it's a home use it's only going to do the top layer of skin it's not going to do any damage at home whereas the newer device i used before it's using the radio frequency to to target underneath the top layer of skin and go deeper so this whole little home facial i gave it my, myself it's definitely for women i would say over 25 because that's when your skin stops renewing as much and obviously as you get older your skin renews less and less and that's why we start to age but we can do things like this to help with scarring imperfections create glow and it's just quite nice to have some time to just like you know have a little pamper on an evening so these ones are hyaluronic acid in a little test tube like this and 
I'm just going to put this onto my skin. Make sure this is a brand new roller, so I've never used it before. But what if, if I um, had used it, I would make sure it's super clean by using the roller cleaner. I cannot stress to you enough how important it is to not wear any makeup. I always do my rolling after I've got clean hair. Just wash my hair. There is no dirt around me. I'm making sure everything is super clean. My hands are clean, disinfected. Everything is super clean because if you have dirty hands or dirty equipment, you're going to put that into your skin and that's going to make you break out so it's really really important to be super super clean with this kind of stuff so i'm just going to break the lid off this i actually love one of these endo care also do some vitamin c ones and oh i absolutely love those ones yes yeah, so it just snaps off like that as you can see can you see it just snaps off like that and then i'm going to put all over my skin so hyaluronic acid works to hydrate the skin it is great at bringing the water from your skin to the surface and it's you know it might sound like it's harsh because it's an acid but it's really not it's really like hyaluronic acid I've used it for many years now and it's just gonna give you a really nice glue I've still got a little bit left I've not used it all I don't want to waste it so I'll either use it or Anthony will use it because Anthony loves the little pamper too it's never been used before but just to be extra safe because I want it to be clean. I've just sprayed some of the roller cleaner on and then I've just got a little clean it with. Okay so let's begin. As you can see this is my skin right now. It is actually very, um, I'm having a little bit of a breakout like I said because I've just had hormones to deal with but it's part of life. So we're going slowly up. It just feels like it is little tiny needles but they're not. If you've ever had Botox or lip filler then this is nothing, honestly. This is just tiny needles. So once I've done a few like straight up like that to make sure I've gone as deep as I can, that's when I'll then start to roll a bit quicker. And it will go like a really pinky warm color. It's also really good for hair stimulation. So men use it on their face to stimulate beard growth and then in your hairline you can do it as well. It's amazing for stretch marks. I know a lot of women who have been pregnant use it on their bellies to get rid of stretch marks or if you've lost weight and you've used it on your arms and stuff. I know loads of people absolutely love derma rolling. As you can see, I'm getting a bit pink. Making sure you've got no hair in there because again, you don't want to have any hair or anything that you're going to push into your skin because it's going to go into your top level of your skin. God, look how red I've gone. And I've purposely not done my hair mask yet because you never know, you might have like residue on your hands or a bit of your hair mask might come onto your skin. You just don't want to risk it because the hair mask is going to have fragrance in it. It's going to have, um, I think that L'Oreal one has actually got silicon in it. Oh, I can feel it there. Ooh. Like in my face. <laughs> so I'm so pink right now. I've got nerves in certain places and I always know this when I'm having my Botox and I'm at, if I have my lip filler done. I've not had my lips done for ages, like over two years, I don't think now. But um, I had my Botox done at the start of last year. No, maybe it was like summer last year. <laughs> Can't remember, I've not done for ages. Here, I've got really sensitive bits and then my lips, <gasps> they are so sensitive. I think that's why I've stopped having my lips done because I don't really need to do it. It's because I've got, um, one side is slightly higher than the other. But the filler is actually stayed now, so I've just kept it. I've not actually had it refilled. I've only just had them in twice and it worked really well to stay in, so. <laughs> It's kind of corrected the problem I had. And to be honest, it was such for vanity reasons, whereas now I'm not really that fussed. I'd rather spend money on, you know, good skincare regime and looking after my skin and having skin treatments done rather than making my lips bigger because that's what it blends for. I'm very pink. That's just a roller wick and it's magic. You can literally see where the roller's been. You don't want to drag it either. If you're dragging it, you could end up scarring your skin. So you just want to do like quite sharp movement. And then if you're rolling, rolling quickly in one direction. I'm going to do a bit of my eye here. I actually quite like this feeling. I know that's really strange, but it's like little, little tiny needles. So I think I've been doing derma rolling on and off since I first took Rakuten, which was, I think maybe 2014. So I was 24, I'm 31 now. Um, and then obviously after taking Rakuten you can't do it straight away but I think it was the same year so it must have been like either 9 or 12 months after I'd taken Rakuten my skin was ready to be rolled so I used to do it three times a month because um, I used to use 
think 0.5 needle um and it ha it has helped loads it up and it really i really started to see a difference in my skin the texture of my skin the way that my makeup goes on everything it was just really helping to you know make my skin look like a completely different ball game to what it was before especially with all the spots it really helped acne scarring and then i've just kept it up ever since i like to go and have micro needling done and then that can last you for like weeks you don't have to keep doing it but i actually quite like i said i like to have this time to pamper myself and do this so i think i'm completely done there it's very pink and red as you can see so I just put a bit of cleanser and water on this pad and i'm just gonna make sure my skin is okay keep feeling clean very red I mean, please don't let this put you off and scare you. It doesn't help that I've got a pink dressing gown in the back that's definitely matching my face right now. Then I've also got a vitamin A, which is a retinol that I can put on overnight. I have already done that, not yesterday, but the night before, so I'm not going to use it again because I like to give my skin a rest. Instead, I'm going to use one of these Demerol masks, which is another hyaluronic acid intensive moisturiser. So it's just going to literally bring so much glowiness to my face because that's what hyaluronic acid does it's a sheet mask it's juicy and make sure that you obviously skin is clean which it is we know it's clean i do love a sheet mask some people find them a bit like overrated but i just love a sheet mask what's not to buy do you know what i mean So, I'm going to leave that on now for 20 minutes. On the alternative days, that's when I'll put my retinol on and my vitamin A, which I've got that one, and then I've got another one as well that I use. Um, one thing I will say is, always make sure, even if you've not worn makeup that day, but you've worn your SPF, so if you've used your colour SPF, obviously you'll know to wash that off because it'll be foundation, but then if you've just used the water gel SPF, I've been told by lots of amazing skincare specialists to make sure you are washing your SPF before you go to sleep because at night, that's when your skin does the most work. It is really helping to, at night when you're asleep, your skin is turning over and just, you know, that's why sometimes in the morning you wake up and you're like, oh, I look fresh today or I look good because your skin at night is working hard. That's why people always say, do not sleep in your makeup because then your skin does not have a good chance of doing its magic at night because it's fighting all of the makeup and the grime that you've got on your face. So you should always cleanse. Some people double cleanse and if I've worn makeup, I will double cleanse because I want to make sure it's off and I use a muslin cloth. Um, and then, like I say, I'll either use hyaluronic acid, I'll either use my retinol or I'll just put a moisturiser on if I feel like my skin doesn't need too much because sometimes, I found in summer, I was just going overboard and using, I, had, I, bought, I bought so many of these in lockdown, there was like some plant retinol thing that I was using, all kinds of stuff. And then in the end, I was like, I don't need all this. And I had a facial at Rudin Park. It was an Elemis facial, it was really nice actually. And um, it was a light therapy one, so it was red light and blue light, like the other device that I use. I'll show you that one in a second. And um, the practitioner said to me, I think you may be doing too much, you need to just strip it back to what you did before and I have so now I've just gone back to I either use Elmis Oil Balm Cleanser or I use my Lizelle which I swear by I love my Lizelle and that is really good to strip all your makeup off. I only use the Elmis one if I want to kind of leave it on for a second to like melt into my skin. Other than that I'll always use Lizelle and then I use a vitamin C endocare and I use a moisturiser. I don't do toners, I don't do eye creams, I don't do I don't really use hyaluronic acid through the day, I just don't. I'd rather just use those three things. Cleanse, endocare, moisturise SPF, so four things, that's what I do through the day. Whereas at night, that's when I'll do a bit more to wake up or do my treatments like I'm doing now. So while that's set in and working its magic, I am gonna do my hair treatment. So I have just washed it with um, Olaplex shampoo and conditioner and it's obviously just damp right now, I've not brushed it. So I'm just gonna brush it through now with, with the absolute best brush in the world. I cannot live without this brush. Like if I don't have this brush, if I can't find it and I've left it somewhere, I'll put it in a bag to take with me, I am lost. I actually need to buy another one just for that reason because I cannot cope without it. So it's got these amazing bristles which are soft to your hair but it also detangles at the same time. And it's in a brush shape, like the tangle teasers, they're great but they're just, annoying to hold whereas this is a proper brush 
it's kind on your hair it's not going to pull your hair out like my hair is so luggy right now but it's not going to have a bad effect with this brush so i'm not going to go into too much detangling because that mask is going to work its magic anyway but anywhere that i'm a bit too luggy then i'm going to try and get them out gentle gentle let's go grab this mask i did a full mask routine video which i'll insert at the end of this video um on what masks i use this one is more my cosmetic one so i use the olaplex to repair my hair damage whereas this one i know i'm going to shoot videos tomorrow and i want my hair to look good in the video so i'm going to use this tonight sleep in it and then rinse it straight out in the morning and i know i'm going to have super gorge glossy shiny hair so it looks like this it smells absolutely sensational I'm gonna take my engagement ring off for this because I absolutely hate getting stuff in it and then putting it back on. So I'm gonna get this amount, rub it in, and then we're just gonna go through the ends. This dressing gown gets battered because I always do my treatments in it. I'm just doing the ends because they're feeling dry. Right on the ends, oh, larked in. Do you see what I mean? If I had done this before I did my derma rolling, there's definitely a strong chance it would have got on my skin so it's just not worth it then my blonde money piece bits at the front make sure that they've got loads in because they have been a bloody nightmare in this lockdown because i've not been able to wait, hairdressing appointment so they're so dry and they keep snapping so i'm trying so hard to get loads of olaplex in them and these masks twice a week i'm really feeling for you blonde girls right now because it must be very hard Right, I don't want to go too close to my root because tomorrow when I come to rinse it out, I'm not going to obviously shampoo my hair. So it will make it greasy if it's too near the root. But I've just gone on to my blondie bits that need it. And then I'm just working it all the way through. As you can see, the ends are completely covered. Put it into a high bun. If I'm wearing it through the day, I'll put it into a low bun. So it's out of the way. But at night, there is nothing worse than a low bun and trying to sleep. So it's a high bun tonight. Okay, so now that's put in a bun, all the ends are done. I'm gonna get a bobble. You can use a scrunchie, which is probably a better idea, but I can't find one right now because I'm literally surrounded by chaos. I need to tidy once I've done this. And it's done, it's up. It will dry here, but then this will keep moist. Moist, so make sure you wrap your neck up when you sleep. I'll show you what I wear pajama wise because I'm obviously gonna put my tan on now as well. So I'll be back in two seconds once I have got my tan stuff ready so I'm gonna just tidy a little bit because it's just you can imagine all the products I've just used are all surrounding me so I'm back in five also I forgot to mention about this epi duo that I get from the doctors which is Ad adpalane and benzoyl peroxide which you can actually buy over the counter now um from like chemists and things like that and this is amazing for any spots that I get and I have used this ever since I took Rakuten so if you have any spots and things like that this is amazing I wouldn't go and get like anything from a cosmetic company I'd go and get something that's actually medical grade because it's gonna help okay so 30 minutes is over I've cleaned my stuff up and I'm about to do my tanning routine now and take this off oh still a bit pink but the glow I hope you can see so now that's all nice and done I'm gonna do my tanning routine I'm obviously not gonna do my face or anywhere near my face because it is a no tan zone I always shout about how much I love St. Moritz and they've sent me some bits and it smells in saying this one is spray tan in a can medium this one is the one that i use all the time and that is the darkest shade in the advanced temperate they've also sent me this which looks incredible tan remover that's what i just did before i got out i use like a scrub and then i use a muslin cloth so that'll be amazing and it smells like coconut that smells so good i'm excited to use that that'll be good and then they've also sent me this one, which is a face mist. But like I said, I'm avoiding my face. I might do this tomorrow or the day after. But I tend to not use tan on my face if I'm doing this kind of treatment because you're asking for blacked pores. So, I like to use a tanning mitt. I do actually really like the Be Perfect tanning mitts. They are my favourite tanning mitts because they are really thick. I usually have one snapping around today I don't so get a tiny mitt this one is double-sided 
And then I'm gonna show you, but I'm not gonna show you at the same time, because obviously I need to get naked. The window is wide open right now, because I've obviously got my lights on. Don't want my neighbors to see me get naked, but I'm gonna show you a motion of what I'm gonna do right now. So a little bit of a mousse on here on my hand, which I'll show you in a second. And then I'm gonna do this kind of motion over my hands, pat, rub, pat, rub, and then I get to around here and I pat, 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 pat. And then I find here, gets really like, I don't know, dry. So I always try to like make sure that bit's rubbed in. And I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. Okay, so tan is done. Look at my hands though. So I like to do this where, can you see it's like half and half covered. And then what I'll do is just with, I'll not put extra on, it's just with the residue that's left on the mitt. I'll just gently go over and pat against my fingers but I'm not gonna get like crazy tan tans tomorrow. Obviously sometimes it can't be helped you're gonna have crazy tan tans because you've got fake tan on but if you do it this way where you just like pat. Some people can use a beauty brush as well which does help. You know like a makeup brush. But this is why I like St. Moritz. I don't feel like it goes streaky so you know like sometimes you'll put a tan on and like if you don't get it perfect the next day you'll have like a big mark. It's not like that. I will say, this is the one that I used to use all the time. And this has like more of a green tone to it. Um, but it is really dark. So this one is darker than dark. And it, I'm not joking, you guys so tanned with that one. But it does have that greeny kind of undertone to that one. This one I like as advanced pro formula. This is the one that I usually would buy and wear. I've just literally run out of that one. So they've sent me this one to try. And it is colour correcting, tanning mousse, dark. But it has a purple undertone to neutralize yellow tones so i mean the color is fab obviously i won't go this dark tomorrow i won't literally be this shade but when i wash it off it'll be really nice and deep tan and then i haven't got anything on my face oh one last thing i want to show you is this that i picked up from iso at first it's by tanco a tan cover so anthony oh he goes mad at me because we get white sheets and then I put tan on and then you know what happens. Go on. So I got this and it comes in a little bag. I've never used it before. I'm going to use it tonight for the first time but it, the idea of it sounds incredible and you sleep in like a cocoon <laughs> so you don't get tan on the sheets. I'm going to sleep in this bad boy tonight. That's cool. I'll let you know how I get on in the morning because I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and show you what my skin is looking like, hair is looking like and tan is looking like. So I'm going to go chill. I'm going to have a glass of wine, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll see you in the morning when I'm doing my morning skincare routine and show you the effects of this little pamper sesh. Okay, see you tomorrow.